What is it doing? Oh my <laughs> god! Welcome back to Spicy Tech. I am Mark. I'm Cry. Today we have V12.3.6, and of course, you can see in front of us here we have the Park Assist. That's the first thing I, I want to test out today. And I have my wife here, Cry, and we're going to be testing out the differences between standard and vision park as a standard of course uses the cameras as well as the ultrasonic sensors to help with the parking and of course the vision strictly just uses the cameras and creates a high definition high fidelity 3d image or video of the surroundings let's test it out let's see if it recognizes uh, this spot in front of us right here on the right side and it's pretty tricky to get inside of there so oh it does I'd like to see so it does, okay. But we won't be able to get a full parallel, so we may want to go behind. Like, cause well, first of all, let's try and see how it actually handles this. So the okay. parking spot is literally right there. We just tapped on it. So we tap on it, we click on start, and let's see what happens here. It looks like the system automatically oh. switches to high fidelity park assist or vision park assist, which is strange. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, well, so really, really close to that car there. <laughs> well, it has it in red, so that's good news. I mean, the, the cameras are working for sure. But, I mean, this is a really awkward parking spot here. <laughs> I don't know what it's trying to Let's try something. I, mean, I don't like how quick it's going. It's getting really, really close to that car there. So I'm making sure to, like, put my, heart, my, my yeah. foot over the... <laughs> over the actual brick. To be honest, I feel like we should be locking a lot more. Yeah. Somebody's probably watching us like, what <laughs> the are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest, like, if somebody did this on the test for the, the driver's license, they would fail. Oh, it's getting so close to this car in front of us <laughs> here, but it's trying something. And I think it's because of the angle that I put the car in, it, it really <laughs> kind of threw it off. And I think the system is going to be pissed at us. I'm kind of embarrassed right now. <laughs> yeah. But it, it's, it's, it's really, really trying to adjust itself. I think this guy is now seeing that you're not actually driving. <laughs> it's really, really trying oh. to get into position here. And we're getting there slowly. I don't know, I, I don't know how to feel. This, is this vision or this is our ultrasonic? This looks like the um, high fidelity park assist, so the, the vision. The Ooh. vision there. All right. Oh, Lordy. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> hmm. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let me take out the camera. Let's see how that, <laughs> how that, uh, how that looks actually. So this is it here. And we have this parking spot. Yeah, it'll be <laughs> really, really close up to that car there. And you're not, you're over the line as well. Over the line. And then, look, this guy's also trapped as well. So right. That's not okay. So that, that, yeah, that's not really, that's not really good. Let's try, the, let's check the other side. Here. One sec. So checking out the other side now here. Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't mind that scratch. Try now again. We're going to switch to Tesla Vision and we're going to try to see how well it performs. Um, I'm going to put it in an awkward position again because, you know, I was looking for a spot. I just found it here and I'm like, all right. So now it's switching over to Tesla Vision. It's going to use primarily just the cameras. Uh, it's looking a little bit rough right off the bat already because now it's just getting straight. Is it just not going to parallel park at all? Uh, it's going to go up. What is with this, like, strategy? Okay. Ooh. Yeah, so now it's a little bit... So it has a heat map there on that. Okay, watch out this bike. We're just going straight back. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't really understand what it's trying to do. And it's going so fast. And, and then, then why is it going like... Slams the brake. Getting really close to the car again. Okay, okay. Which is not good. But it's not going as close as before though. Okay, that, that's a little bit better, but I don't know why it's why it's straightening up like that is this worse <laughs> uh, okay okay we're starting to get a little closer now okay never mind it's a really like kind of the a angle is slightly better 
Okay. Come look on. at that though. Look, look. Come on. You can do it. Yes. Oh, we're too late though. Yeah. Are we gonna have to quit the one? Because it's just doing the same thing over and over. Let's do it one last time, folks. One last time. We're gonna see. Come on, come on. It's gonna go oh, up. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Go up a little bit, but not too much. <laughs> now it's locking. Okay. I think we got some some motion there, like some actual angle placement. Okay, I'll give it two more, and then that's it. <laughs> two more. It's taking way too long, though. Okay, it, uh, wait, that pathway is looking good. What is it doing? Oh my <gasps> god! Alright, so this is the this is the actual park here. Alright. <laughs> this is how much this is how much space we have. And we're supposed to be right here. So it's completely off. We are on standard mode, standard park assist. You wanna click start? Let's go. Okay. Oh, so we're it's going, going up. up. Okay. It recognizes it, so it's again. That's it's, a good path. It switches to um, high fidelity, so, so so vision parking, the vision park assist. It's still going up, going up even more. It wants to lock now, but we have a curb right here. Okay. All right. It's treating it as if it can't cross that, so that's good. It's not really going on it. Right. Okay. That's good. If there's a car here, you would not. Actually, it might. No. No. Okay. okay, this one is a lot better. Oh, this one is pretty good. Smooth. Okay. Alright. Okay, that's pretty good. It's going up. Just to fix it. Little bit on this thing now. Let's see. Um, okay. I would give that like a 7.5. I would give it a 7 too as well. Definitely not perfect. It did well, but like if I had to park in Costco, for example. Oh, you would get honked. Yeah, max. I get honked at like a lot. Luckily, um, there's no parallel parks in Costco. But that was standard. That was standard uh, vision. Let's do it again, this time with Vision Park Assist. We're going so back let's go back a little into bit. the same spot. Oh, this is why we needed to... Um... Okay, okay. Okay, so let's try again. We're trying to get into this spot here. We're doing a parallel park with Vision only Park Assist. I like the pathway. It seems more adaptive almost. It seems slightly better. It knows that it's lines here, so it's going across it. But like if this was another car, it yeah. might be a problem. But we can try again with two cars. Let's see. Okay, it's fixing this side. But it's not going this way to even it out. But it looks pretty even here. That was a lot faster too. That so. was really fast, yeah. So this is the front. Mm. A little, it's a little crooked. It's not straight. Let's do it again here. So we're using standard. We're gonna select the location, stop, and then so this is in between two cars. We have a decent amount of room. It's a pretty good size space. And I like how it's uh, locking, kind of. Okay. okay. We have a little bit of wiggle room here as well. Getting a little close now. That's good. But we have a lot of room to adjust, anyways. That was pretty good. But it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know uh, what all this is about. I mean, there's some room on the side here, but but still, I though. I think it didn't need to do all that. I mean, the closer it is to the curb, the better. So that way it's not like closer to the road with moving traffic. Right, and it's a little 
off there. Okay, so this is one side. Very good. In the line. Really close. Um, not too bad. Pretty straight. All right, let's try it again. This time with vision focuses in between two cars. The last time was pretty good. It looks more confident in its Angle, path. Yeah. yeah. It might have less turn, like less like uh, adjustments. Yeah, less adjustments. Okay, let's see. It looks good here. Looks straight-ish there as well. Okay, I, what is Why this? Why does it do that? They didn't have to do that, bro. Is it trying to get like really, really it's up to the curb? It's trying to get close curb? to the curb, yes. Which but I mean is, is, is okay. I mean, I, I appreciate it. It's just that it takes longer for, for okay. me to park. Okay, that was actually okay. That, that was, was a pretty, little bit shorter. That's This one is slightly off in terms of its angle or adjacent to the actual curve, but looks fine for all intents and purposes. We're gonna try out the reverse parking on standard mode, standard park assist. Try it, wanna get into this spot right over there. So we just wanna see if there's any improvements. I really like this path, it looks good. Well, I like it has that, it, it gives you that kind of transparency now. It's a little bit tight though. In my opinion, it was a little overconfident in the starting position. It didn't make any adjustments. Mm. And we didn't really like perfect the starting position. Right. Per se. It should have adjusted right off the bat. Yeah. If it, if if it, it can go up or go back and then curve, like that would be better. But it looks pretty good so far. Uh, but we have some grass here. Is it going to recognize that and stop? I don't know if it's uh... going to end. Okay. okay, that was alright. That was okay. Uh, I mean, this person parked at an angle. So it's, it's a little can... close on this side, though. Yeah. This person... I don't think these folks parked straight. This one definitely didn't park straight. I or can did, open my door. and We can just open the doors and see. Um, this side looks straight. straight this side is straight, too, as well. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Straight there, straight there. I mean, funny enough, though, this side actually. I like what it did, I'm not gonna lie, because this side is not as close, so it went over to the side, but this person's very close to the line, so it actually went a little bit farther, if you can see. I don't know, I don't, I'm not too sure if that's intentional, but if that is... I don't know is. if it's, yeah, I don't know if it's intentional, but like... It's impressive if, if it did. If it did that on purpose, Yeah. that's kind of smart, because I thought this person was close, but they were just close. Exactly. And we just want to select it. It's kind of difficult to select now, but... That's fine. At this angle, it's kind of difficult to select. So let's, let's try it out now again. Selecting the spot, okay. click on start. Did you notice that? It went straight back. I don't know if it did that the last time. But it didn't really need to. No. It actually made it worse. <laughs> yeah, this one looks a little bit more... That doesn't sound good. <laughs> We're coming really close to that left up. side, yeah. It's getting... Hmm. Is that oh. intentional? <laughs> so it's going up further back than the uh, than Okay, the this one I feel like is not intentional, to be honest. Because it was just like, okay, let me just park any which way how. <laughs> We have more space on this uh, on this side than we do on this side. And um, I'm not sure if that's on purpose. And it's not really centered. It's not really centered. On the park, yeah. yeah. Was that the goal? Standard park assist. We're pretty much like T-boning the, uh, <laughs> the parking, <laughs> the parking spot. spot. And notice that we can, we can just select it now. We, before, we used to have to be in reverse in order for you to use the park assist. But now, with the auto park, with vision and with this updated version, uh, you can just have it in drive and select the spot, click on start, and let's see. 
So we're in an awkward position because we want to go there. It actually went up first. Okay, so and then we up, also yeah. have a car coming, so that's... I'm hoping it's going to see that car and start going back quickly. They really don't want to stop. Yeah. Uh, we have to re I like that it went up. I like this pathway. Okay. Adjusting. Just don't like when it does that. Because I hate it's, that noise. It's turning the steering wheel okay, while it, applying brakes. That's why it's making it's that It's actually noise. doing the curve wrong. It actually had it like pretty well, but it was like going back. Now it's going to be on the line, so it has to go up. I feel like we're gonna end up really close to that white car, but mm, it's actually, oh wait, it's kind of more even now than before, slightly. Yeah, yeah, this one is more. It's still more left bias, but it's uh, more or less in a good position. I have room here. They have room. Uh, a, actually, here looks better than it really? did before. Okay. Okay, so that's uh, that's good. Vision park assist. Let's try it out. I like the choice of path. It's making a lot of sense. I just would have done it a lot quicker. It's, it's just <laughs> yeah. for me. It's just it just still feels a little bit too slow. She's learning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of looking good. It's getting a little bit more to the left. And now it's starting to lock, to adjust. It looks kind of crooked though. I think it didn't have enough power to go back more. <laughs> like it, it wasn't applying enough power to, to, to go through the back because now we are well in front of this area. I mean, that's you should not... go right over here. I mean, it's fine. It's not a deal breaker, but just something I noticed like, and it's more but, on the left side than on the right could side. Could that be a good thing though? Because like, because of vision it's actually seeing that and it doesn't want to touch that and it sees that as a line. But if you go in the rear, you have, you still have a good amount of space. Um, but yeah, it's a good practice because if you have a raised area here, you and don't want to hit it. can't tell how high. Exactly. Um, so it's better to be safe than sorry. I could give that a W. But the, it looks a little bit more crooked than before. Four. I do feel like the right side is a little bit less close than it was, but I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. Overall, I can survive with this. <laughs> the um, speed and accuracy is a lot better. It is, it is. But I mean, you need, you need in like in terms of congested areas, like if it's uh, you know a day like this when it's late at night, it's fine. There's not much of a rush. But if you, you know, if you want to get to a store quickly and you want to go into the, the you know into a busy parking lot and find a parking spot and he said well first of all detect it quickly and it does do that so that's great that's a huge thumbs up because yeah. it, it detects parking spots a lot better now but it just takes time which you know some people don't kinda, like <laughs> it kind of defeats the purpose because if i'm using this i want it to be better than me okay like i'm gonna have a hard time seeing what's here what's here like if you're in a busy parking lot, for example, I would want it to just like soup soup like quickly because exactly. I'm like, OK, I can't do better. Let the car do it. Right. But that's not really the case right now. It was it was pretty good. I love to see the improvements in terms of the vision and how it's displaying its surroundings. Uh, that was very impressive. There's an improvement, definite improvement in terms of identifying the parking spots getting in. It's still a little bit slow. But let us know what you think. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Did you, did you, uh, I mean, <laughs> how was it? Because we had a, a lot of, a lot of situations, a lot of scenarios, a lot of awkward parking positions and angling. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.